Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you a chatty video. This is voiceover bun here. So if you don't want to hear me uh, rambling, I would just mute this video because I plan on just talking to you the whole time here uh, about the April Art Challenge, about what it is that I'm doing in this video, about just what's going on at the moment, tackling a 30 day challenge. We have a lot to talk about. Anywho, welcome back to the channel. Today I am working on the April Art Challenge. Two things here. Um, this year I wanted to, well, I'll admit this year I almost actually didn't even want to do the April Art Challenge or wasn't going to host it because I just have so much going on and obviously I have a seven month old baby at home and it's very challenging to already juggle my creative business on top of now hosting a challenge and doing these daily prompts myself because um, I always feel like you know, obviously if you host a challenge, you have to also, you know, do the daily prompts yourself too. So there's a little bit of guilt there that I really have to make sure that I try to stay on top of it and, and do this myself. But anywho, I almost didn't do the challenge this year just because things have been so busy at home. But with everything that's going on in the world right now, and most of us are um, hopefully in quarantine at home, staying home, staying safe, I thought that this year is maybe the most important year to put out prompts for the April R challenge, the most important year to really get this out there for you guys to do. So I stuck with it and I've been maintaining a list of prompts, which you'll see in a bit here um, for a while. So I wanted to work on my official prompt list and actually create a couple of downloads. So you'll see here what I'm working on is actually, I'm in a Midori insert. Um, I've been really into my traveler's notebook lately, which my patrons know all about this. I'm like really hooked on this format. And I kind of started dabbling with this a little bit as again, as an idea of using it as a digital download of some sort of like calendar thing almost, but just more like a checklist, kind of just like a space for you guys to write things down if you wanted to. Like I know sometimes I make lists of like things that I'm going to draw or sketch in correlation to the prompts. Or maybe if you want to use it as like a checklist where each day that you do the challenge, you maybe fill in one of these little post-it notes. I don't know, but I'll be honest. I started doing this before I was making the official prompt list because I was secretly avoiding working on the prompt list, <laughs> which I know I could probably make things easier on myself and make the prompt list digitally, but I don't. I always hand draw, hand ink, hand illustrate the prompt list just because it gives it a certain kind of look and it's just kind of like really epitomizes my style and it just wouldn't feel right making some sort of digital version of the list. So it's a very time consuming process and that's kind of why I'm avoiding it and was just messing around in my traveler's notebook instead here. So yeah, I just, I don't know what this was. I just kind of ended up playing around and was like, let me just turn this into a download. I don't know. So I'll probably use this myself as like a, um, you know, an accomplishment list like hey I did day one hey I did day two and maybe just make notes of like things that I'm gonna draw or sketch I'm not sure for this actual download itself I sketched all the little days here the 30 days with some pencil then came in and filled it in with some watercolor and that specific watercolor is actually I think it's from a Jane Davenport watercolor set I've been really hot on kind of digging into my my drawers of my desk and pulling out older supplies that I haven't used in a while just to kind of like freshen things up without actually having to purchase anything, which I highly recommend by the way. Anywho. And then after that, I came in with some, um, acrylic ink, you know, my favorite, um, both in this gray color, which I really love. I got really hot on this from last inktober. And then a little bit later, just some black ink, um, outlining things and getting the text in and all that good stuff. And I know I've already mentioned that this is going to be a digital download. Both of these downloads will be available for you. This one and then the upcoming prompt list, which you'll see. Um, those are both going to be available for you guys. Totally free, totally free. It's up on my Patreon. You don't have to be a patron. Again, free. You can just follow the link in my description and you can go download it. Moving right along. Let's go ahead and actually talk about the April Art Challenge, what it is, what you can do, kind of how it started. I think this is my fourth year hosting the April Art Challenge, I believe. Um, I started it a couple years ago just as a personal goal of myself that I, I really wanted to host a drawing challenge, mainly just even for myself to draw for 30 days. And April's a nice like in-between point of the year between now and Inktober, which I always do every year. 
So this was just kind of an, an in-between sort of challenge that I developed and it kind of got a pretty big following. If you actually look at the hashtag on Instagram, there's quite a few people who have participated. There's a lot of really cool entries and just things that people have shared. It's pretty awesome. And I think what's cool about this is that it's, it's really simple because there's not a whole lot of rules with this. It's just simply do something creative every day. Like by no means is this purely a drawing challenge. I just sort of have always gone that route, but you can paint, you can do mixed media, you could do collage. I've seen photographs, I've seen poems, music, literally someone actually did music. I think it was last year. It was awesome. There's just a whole different ways that you can interpret this. Whatever gets your creative juices flowing, whatever gets you excited, um, maybe it's something small. And I think that's the thing you know, that I really wanted to share with you guys too, is that this year I'm going really small. I don't want to do these really in-depth detail illustrations simply because I just don't have the time at the current moment with what it is I'm trying to accomplish kind of right now while in quarantine, as well as while I'm watching Roman, which speaking of Roman, he is napping at the moment and I am just crossing my little mama fingers over here, hoping that he sleeps so that I can finish this voiceover, but we shall see. Anywho, with me taking care of Roman more at home, um, since we are not, uh, we're not bringing our nanny back, which is like, ugh, such a bummer. So I've kind of lost um, childcare and I'm, you know, taking care of him at home solo. You know, it's cut into my work time a little bit. So a lot of the things that I work on in between or when I have downtime or when I have the nanny here for help, you know, I don't have that anymore. So I really have to prioritize what it is that I'm doing. That being said, the April Art Challenge this year, I'm, I'm going a little bit smaller. I'm really trying to keep it with just really simple illustrations that I'm doing in my traveler's notebook um, sketchbook. I have a little insert in there that's like that super thin delicious paper that gets really crinkly and it sounds awesome. Thus far, that's where I've kind of been sketching things. So we'll see if I stick that out for the rest of the 30 days. I'm not sure, but I'm really not, I'm trying not to put a lot of pressure on myself of just like maybe giving myself like 10 or 15 minutes, you know, like not a lot of time. Like I'm tempted even to like set a timer of like, okay, here's 10 minutes, 15 minutes. What can I knock out, you know, in, in regards to the prompt. And speaking of prompts right here, you'll see over in my my TN, you guys, I'm so obsessed with the Traveler's Notebook thing, it's crazy. Um, over in my TN, I have had this running list of April art prompts, kind of just like a running list of ideas. And I always have this list going, like literally throughout the year, I have the prompt list kind of going. If I come up with ideas or something that I wanna draw, and I'll be honest, most of the prompts come from me just like wanting to draw something or thinking that it's cool. It's not like I'm, you know, I mean, not to say that I'm not putting a lot of thought into it, but all of the prompts are stuff that I personally want to draw or at some point thought about drawing or had an idea for it. So that's where the prompts come from. So obviously a lot of them are gonna be a little more on the creepy spooky side, which you guys know if you've done it in the past, there's always something a little creepy cute, a little spooky. There's some good ones this year, you know, like web, beetle, I thought was really fun. Um, some more kind of unique ones like Veil I thought could be really interesting. I can, there, there's some prompts on here that I'm really excited just to see how you guys interpret it, which I think will be really fun. And you can see from my TN to this larger sketchbook that I'm working in here, which is the Strathmore Mixed Media Sketchbook, I've kind of narrowed down what my favorites were out of that mega list that I had. And here I'm kind of just sketching what the overall kind of design of the prompt list would be. So I always try to get it into a square format because I'm always thinking about you know, social media. So I really try to stick to a nice, easy square shape. And then from there, I'm always trying to think of, okay, what's my header? What's my footer gonna be basically, which is usually just my Instagram handle. And then how am I fitting the, you know, three rows, 10 prompts each within each row with the actual prompts. So I always do some kind of like thumbnail sketches over on the side just to get kind of capture what the overall kind of vibe is gonna be. And then from there, I can kind of drill down more specifics of what I like. So you can see I'm kind of sketching a header that I'm kind of liking and kind of blowing it up like this out of, you know, colored pencil thumbnail. I can then kind of come in with ink or watercolor and kind of fill it in and just kind of see like, what is that visual balance gonna look like? You know, what, what letters am I filling in completely with black? What am I leaving as negative space? And this year I decided to kind of really play around with things and mainly because I've been inspired by just this watercolor sitting in my palette one of which is this gorgeous dusk green color, which I got out of my art snacks box. And you guys can watch that box breakdown. Um, I'll put a link somewhere, but 
those videos are always in my as seen on playlist here on the channel so you can always reference that so that's what that green color is from and then this like neon green yellow thing was again me digging into my drawer and pulling out some older supplies i had this really kind of ugly yellow gouache sitting in my drawer and i thought it was old so i was like getting ready to throw it out and I kind of just like messed with the bottle a little bit and was that, or the tube rather, and was able to kind of mix things back together with the binder and threw a little bit of white gouache in with it. And it gave me this really awesome, like chartreuse green kind of color. And I'm really obsessed with it. I've kind of been putting it everywhere and it happens to go really well with that dust green. So for the first time ever, I was like, you know what? Let's put some color into this prompt list. Why not? Like I normally just do black kind of ink work, but I was like, eh, let me just mix it up because you know what? If people print this, and again, I was thinking, okay, this is going to be a digital download of some sort. I thought if people are going to print this, they could print it with color and it would have these two kind of greens in there or just print it black and white. So I was definitely being conscious of, you know, someone not printing in color what it would look like. So now I'm experimenting with my sketch kind of more in true to scale. So this is kind of more what the... Uh, you know, the original would look like. So going from thumbnails, then to those blown up sort of sketches now to actually being in the proper kind of original format here, I'll kind of do another clean sketch through. And this is what I do, you know, again, making sure that the prompts fit and I'm doing little things that you kind of wouldn't think about until you actually start doing this, like looking at the prompts and actually writing them out, you know, kind of mixing up words, bigger words next to small words and, does it look visually unbalanced? You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Like if I have one whole column that has words, you know, with 10 to 12 characters in each one, it's going to look visually heavy. So I'm always thinking about that too, like mixing up the prompts, both in their subject matter and visually how they're going to look in the prompt list. So you kind of have to sketch that out or draw it out ahead of time because it's not digital. So it's not like I can just be retyping things over and over and moving them around, but once I kind of have more of a true to scale sketch happening here, which I've done in graphite pencil, and then again with my favorite red and blue colored pencils, which I love so much. I have a million of them. They're the best thing ever. Anywho, after that, I'm coming in with the Zig Clean Color brush tip pen there just to get a nice outline happening. And once I get this outlined, then I'll come in with some tracing paper and kind of make my master transfer sheet. So... I kind of skipped that process here in showing you guys just because it's kind of boring. I don't think you really needed to see me redrawing everything all over again to then create my transfer. So I just kind of, uh, I did that transfer. I didn't show it. I skipped, again, I skipped that. And then I'm now jumping right onto my original. So you can see my really light pencil lines here coming in with that watercolor, kind of replicating what I had done in that smaller sketch. And then ultimately kind of building out the final prompt list here. Overall, you know, once you actually get to the end here and you see what it looks like, I was pretty happy with how it turned out this year. A little a little funkier. I think maybe I wish I had done a little bit more kind of doodles. Every year I play with the idea of drawing little like art supplies around it or making kind of a border in that way. But I really just was more about getting this out. I wanted to get it done and edited and available to you guys so that you could start right away. Um, like I said, I think that this is a... You know, it's a challenging time for a lot of us right now and I think the April art challenge or just art challenges in general are a great way to stay creatively productive, distract yourself and just kind of put your mind into something else and I think that that's it's a good thing especially right now it's a really good thing so I hope you guys participate this year remember not a lot of rules use any medium any format whatever works for you just be inspired each day by the prompts uh, if you post your work online, be sure to use the hashtag April Art Challenge. Again, it kicks off April 1st. Um, as I mentioned earlier, down below in the description, I will have a link for you guys to access those two downloads if you want to download this prompt list as well as that little checklist calendar thing. You can do whatever you want with that. So I look forward to seeing you guys' work. I'm going to sign off here and you guys can just continue finishing watching the rest of this video here. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram where I will hopefully be up to date and posting my April art challenge artwork as well. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Again, I'm working on getting more content to you guys here on YouTube. Love my crutes. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.